Excellency, Prime Minister, Mrs. Anna Brnovich, my dear sister colleagues, Commissioner, Madam Mariana Gabriela, Maria Gabriela, and also another colleague, the Secretary General of RCC, Madam Melinda Brego. Ministers, Ambassadors, Excellencies, good morning. It is an honor to be here with you in Belgrade today for the second Western Balkan Digital Summit. Thank you very much, Excellency Prime Minister, for making ITU part of this important event. I want to show you my speech. I was quite nervous to prepare my speech. I didn't have much time. And then, you know, even yesterday afternoon, before I left my office, I was still mortified. And after my landing, midnight this morning, I was informed that there will be 10 speakers at the opening session. So I was quite nervous. So this morning, I tried to cut. And I cannot read it myself. <laughs> but then, when I joined this uh, opening ceremony, I also a little bit relaxed and I tried to again modify it. I have three happiness to join you this morning. I visited uh, Serbia several times in the past decade. In my role as uh, director of the Standardization Bureau of ITU, in my role as deputy secretary general of ITU, but however, since 2015, I was, have been already working as secretary general of ITU. This is my first time to come back to Serbia, Bear right to join the activity here. So it's, uh, it's a great uh, pleasure. And secondly, when I get this opening, starting with this uh, intelligent uh, robot, with our moderator, it's really something first time in my life in ITU for such a long period. And I found this guy speaks a very good uh, language. And uh, as the moderator, chat with him, he even speak uh, severe language. So I'd like to talk to him if he will speak uh, Chinese, so that uh, he can teach me how can I speak uh, in severe languages. So that is uh, something I think that uh, with uh, intelligent, uh, artificial intelligence, then we can do something better than in the past. And uh, thirdly, I'm very happy because before me, we had uh, three distinguished uh, lady individuals, well-known in this country, well-known in the West Balkan regions, and well-known in the IT families as well. And I'm very pleased to be the first man to speak after these three to make some kind of gender balance. So that uh, is really very much uh, uh, unique opportunities for me to join you to start with this uh, unprepared remarks. And we appreciate very much uh, CBS leadership. And we know that uh, in the past, ICT development in Serbia has achieved a lot, despite of uh, challenges they're facing in the past. And according to ITU statistics, CBS uh, interconnectability and the other criteria we compared among our 193 member states of ITU, CBR always occupied one of the positions on the top 50. And we also know that CBR has a lot of uh, initiatives and uh, some kind of uh, determination to play leading roles in the region and in the world. And I just uh, heard this morning that uh, we were sign this uh, free rooming agreement among six cities and six regions, sub-regions, in Belgrade, and which, which also shows the leadership of our political, political leaders' uh, determination to work together. And uh, that uh, should be appreciated. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate uh, our members of the region to reach agreement to sign this important agreement. 
and the free rooming was a topic for many years in IT family. I still heard this everywhere. But I was very pleased to know that our Africa friends who started the free roomings among five East, East Africa countries as early as in 2015, followed by another five West Europe Africa countries, I mean the Africa countries, in 2016. So up to now I have not heard any complaints. So these are five Eastern Africa countries agreed uh, 2015, and uh, five Western Africa countries agreed 2016. As they set a very good example for the regional coordination to use ICT to facilitate the social economic development. To be honest with you, I've heard a lot of such initiatives, for example, in Asia, ASEAN regions, 10 members talked already for some years. In Caribbeans, I also heard the member of the Caribbeans talked a lot in the last few years. But I have not heard with the Balkan countries we are also addressing this issue. And I'm very pleased to know that uh, this agreement already reached and will be signed uh, today. I'm also very much encouraged uh, by statement uh, from both uh, Secretary General of ICC and commissioners of uh, European Union that uh, this uh, agreement will not uh, stop at the border of these members, but it will be integrated and further developed to integrate with the uh, European regions members. So let me congratulate you all for this marvelous uh, achievement. And the ITU, we appreciate your efforts. And uh, you know, ITU is the uh, very oldest, the one of the, our United Nations Specialized Agency, but it's the oldest one, established in 1865 by our European states. And we today enjoyed 193 member states, more than 700 uh, industry members, including those uh, very, very powerful in the recent uh, years, such as uh, Google, Facebook, Alibaba, Tencent, and uh, all these uh, new guys. Of course, those traditional ones, Ericsson, Nokia, Huawei, ZTE, T-Mobile, Telefonica, Telecom Italia, and all, you know, that we continue. France Telecom, British Telecom, all are our members. And we are also very pleased to have a lot of SMEs to join us. And since 2011, ITU opened its door to invite universities to join ITU as our academy members. And then, today, we already received more than 160 universities, academic institutions to join ITU's work. When I talked about 2011, we started to invite the university to join ITU as a new members group. I also like to highlight that 2011, ITU invited our members to celebrate girls in ICT annually, every year at the last Thursday of April. So for example, this year will be 25th of April. We will invite our members to join us to celebrate girls in ICT. This initiative started from 2011. Under the strong initiative from our SEBIA delegation to ITU Planning Potential Conference held in Mexico. October 2010. So I would like to once more again and take this opportunity to appreciate the CBS initiative to help ITU to focus on girls in ICT. And of course, ITU this year, uh, we have uh, many important uh, events. And we talked about the 5G. And the 5G will be finalized with its uh, technical standards at our next uh, World Radio, Radio Communication Conference, which will be held in Shamashinka, Egypt. 
from the end of October till the end of uh, November. So it's quite important the conference, not only fix the te technical details, but also try to allocate uh, sufficient uh, spectrum to allow our industry to go ahead with the 5G business. I, I'm expecting around 140 countries, 3,600 delegates came to Xiamen So I'm pretty sure your experts will join us. But let me just remind you, we are waiting for you. And earlier this year, we will have uh, ITU Telecom be hosted by uh, Hungarian administrations. We will have that uh, event in Budapest in the second week of September. It's just uh, Monday this week, I was in Budapest to sign a host country agreement uh, with uh, Hungarian administration, where we will focus on supporting ICT SMEs, startups. So we expect uh, around uh, 6,000 participants from 100 uh, countries. And we will have a lot of uh, Africans come together with their SMEs, many SMEs uh, from the other regions. And I'm hoping that we will get uh, also a lot of SMEs uh, from European regions. So I hope uh, my sister uh, Gabriel will help us to promote that event. And of course, here. I invite the Prime Minister and uh, our friends in Serbia to encourage your SMEs to join us in Budapest September this year. And earlier, in May, at the end of uh, May, we will organize uh, AI for Good Summit in Geneva. And the AI for Good Summit was uh, initiated by American industries invite I2 to jointly organize that summit two years ago. So we had a very successful two summit, 2016 and 2017 and 2018. And with many top experts come to join us, and many United Nations agencies also presented. And the first summit, we got 22, we got 22 United Nations agencies. Last year, we got 32. And uh, this year, we expect the uh, participation to be doubled. So we would like to invite you to join us as well. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that uh, uh, this is uh, a very good uh, initiative from our Bagan region to highlight your priorities focusing on the digitalization to facilitate the SDGs in the region. So we, ITU, firmly support you. And we also come together with our members to the regions. Let me just uh, give you some examples. That uh, we organized uh, several times uh, workshops in this region. And uh, we also uh, organized uh, some kind of cyber security trials in the regions. We organized a lot of uh, workshops in the regions and we it helped some of our members in this region to establish so-called computer security, national computer incident response set. And we worked with our partners like RCC and TechHuff to ensure the presence all of all terms from our Western Balkans be in line with ITU's strategic plan and uh, with uh, our European initiatives. We have uh, five European initiatives. So ITU is uh, dedicated to uh, leveraging technology to accelerate progress towards the advance of their digital agenda in the key areas of ICT infrastructure, cybersecurity, digitalization, digital inclusion, and innovation. Now, we are very pleased to note that uh, this uh, Readiness assessment were completed for Albania and Bosnia and Herzegovina. And the regional cyber geos we hold offer a unique opportunity for national computer security incident response teams to build their capacities. The special partnership with the RCC and the DECAF for some other projects. I would uh, 
like to just uh, conclude my uh, un very well organized uh, speech uh, once more again to congratulate our RCC, congratulate uh, uh, European Commissioner for all the efforts uh, you support the member of the Balkan, West Balkan regions, and also congratulate uh, uh, Serbia and congratulate uh, congrat, uh, our minister, Prime Minister for the wonderful leadership and achievement of ICT development uh, in Serbia, in RCC, and in Europe. Of course, also your contribution will make a very important part of uh, ITU family. So I wish you great success of this uh, digital summit and uh, I'd like to also once more again invite you to actively join ITU activities this year and in the future. Thank you very much.